Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me during my night routine and show you guys what I get up to before bed. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off strong with my night routine with Minecraft. Minecraft, I only really got into like a few days back because I forgot about it for so long. And with Ayla was and everything, I had no time to play any video games basically. And now that I finally got into it, why is it actually so good? Yeah, and I also started a survival world with my cousins. So it's like been fun to rediscover Minecraft. So another part of my night routine is of course to tidy up, but now more than ever, because I'm in the middle of redoing my study room and bedroom and they're both really really messy particularly my desks and my bed which are both things I use at the moment so what I want to do is tidy up those things specifically and get rid of everything off my bed and my desk so I can just kind of like use them finally and then the other thing which is really good is I finally found the charger to my speaker and now have somewhat of a good sound system there that point where you accidentally time lapse your cleaning up and it only comes to five seconds because it wasn't that deep I can't lie what I need to do right now is change my clothes and get out of these and into some comfy ones the bed and also cool down and just splash my face a few times because i've closed the door and it's already getting so warm like the humidity here in the uk along with the heat is the worst okay now i have to say sorry for the bad lighting because like this is a work in progress with my bedroom still but yeah here i am just picking my clothes for what i'm gonna wear going to sleep and then just changing into some comfier ones and then getting ready to do my nighttime routine which really is just me washing my face like i don't put any serums or any other skincare on because i feel like it breaks me out so i literally just wash my face and then brush my teeth and that's all done. Now what I'm gonna do is play a record because at night time I feel like it's the best time to play. Of course you do have to play them a bit more quietly but they are such a nice way to add to the nighttime mood especially when it's warm like it is now it's just such a good way to wind down and that is one of the things that I'll be doing now. So I have to confess I literally just flipped the record around because I already listened to that side of speak now and I was just doing that to show you guys that I was listening to it and also after I switched out the record Olivia came into my room she was probably just there to explore what new sounds were coming out of it but I pet her for a while until she decided that she had much better things to do than stay in my room and left. Now what I'm gonna do is along with the record, I'm gonna go and browse through Pinterest because I have a lot of things to look for in terms of room inspiration for my study room and my bedroom in terms of changing it because I have so many ideas, but at the same time, none at all. And Pinterest, I feel like is such a good place to find like inspiration for your bedroom, study room, just generally anything, even fits because they have some of the best fits on there. So I'm just gonna use that, browse through and see what I can find. If there's anything that I like particularly to save enough or use as inspiration for my room. So I started off by browsing through Pinterest. I also took the posters off. This is for another video, so you guys will see it later. But honestly, the room looks much bigger without all the posters and like the other accessories that I took out. Basically, you'll see in the other video, so I'll stop talking about it now. And I was browsing Pinterest for a good 20 minutes or so. So after this, I had a sudden bout of 2 a.m. productivity and decided to go on to Brilliant. This portion of the video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing platform where you learn by doing and they offer thousands of lessons in math, programming, data analysis, and AI. It's one of the most effective ways to learn, with each session allowing you to build your understanding from the ground up, using hands-on problem solving, which lets you play around with the concepts from the get-go. My favorite part of Brilliant is definitely that it lets you do a little every day. By spending anywhere from five to 15 minutes daily, you can build a lifelong understanding of the things you learn using it. I've been spending time learning how to code and learning the basics, and if you're anywhere familiar with coding, you'll know that Python is the building block to start from. Brilliant allows you to practice using Python and use those essential coding elements like loops and variables, which is just one of the many things they offer. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Emmett Cameron Raja. That's brilliant.org slash Emmett Cameron Raja. Or click the link in the description and you'll also get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this portion of the video and we'll get back into the rest of my night routine. So I took my iPad to bed with me to start watching some of the six on the office or the US office to be specific because my cousin recommended it and I've always really wanted to watch it just see what the hype is about and honestly it's actually really funny there were some moments where I was like what but then other times where it was really funny and I and I think I'll probably continue with it and see how it goes and then after I finished an episode I got ready for bed and I just want to say thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video please like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new one bye for now